Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make 360 or VR videos for your Minecraft. If you're unfamiliar with what they are, I will have a video example in the description and also on the bottom right hand side corner of the screen for you to see. But anyways, let's begin. So in three easy installation steps, you will be able to have a Minecraft client readily available to create 360 videos. First thing you're going to do is you're going to download Minecraft Forge. Once again, all the links are in the description. Feel free to click them and just follow along. So on Minecraft Forge, go to show all downloads. And then you're going to download in specifically version 11.14.3.1550. All I did was a control find. You're going to find the specific version. And you're going to download the specific Minecraft Forge file. Once you have that file, minimize your browser. Go to the file that you just recently downloaded and double click the exe file. So you're going to get a mod system installer. Don't click anything. Just make sure it says install client and the correct Minecraft folder. Press OK. It's going to download the libraries and it's going to show that it's successfully completed. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to download the FFMPEG. What that does is it helps you render Minecraft videos. So go to the link in the description, go to this website, and then download in specifically the static version of FFMPEG. So there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit option. So you're going to have to make sure that you're downloading the correct one. How you do that is you go to your start menu, you go to my computer, and you just click on properties. And then you're going to check here and specifically to what system type you have. So I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'll be downloading the 64-bit version. So go back to the website. So for me, I would be downloading the 64-bit static option. So once you have that downloaded, minimize your screen, go to your file, and you're going to unzip your file. So you're going to have this file in specific. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to download the FFMPEG path installer. It will be in the description. Just click it. You'll automatically download it. So then you're going to do is you're going to hold and drag into the folder that you just recently created. So once you have that, you're going to double click your path installer within the folder. You're going to run it it's going to show that it successfully has run the script and then press any key to continue. So now you're done that. So next thing you're going to do now is you're going to install the replay mod. So you're going to go to the link for the replay mod. You're going to go click download. And then you can download version 1.0.7. Click download. Once you have the file, you're going to have a jar file such as this. So what you're going to do now is you're going to install this into your Minecraft folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, you're going to press run. You're going to have this window open. You're going to do percent app data. And press OK. And then under roaming, you're going to go to Minecraft. And then you're going to go to specifically mods. If you don't have that folder, you can just simply just create a new folder called mods, open it, and then you're going to drag your replay mod into the mods folder. So very simple. So you're going to close that, and you're basically done your installation process. Now, what we're going to do now is you're going to open your Minecraft client, and then make sure it's under Forge, and then just press play. Okay, once you're on the Minecraft main menu, you're going to notice three new buttons, the Replay Viewer, the Replay Editor, and the Replay Center. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to load up the world that you're going to play your 360 video in. So on the top left-hand side corner of your screen, you're going to notice a recording indicator. That shows that your recording has started. So all I'm going to do is just going to move left and right as an example. 
The replay mod's gonna record all my movements. Okay, so once you're done your replay, just press escape and save and quit your title. Okay, so once you're back into the main menu, go to replay viewer, and then go to your most recent replay. You'll notice that you're in third person mode and you can move around using the WASD keys and the shift and space button. So the space button will go up and the shift button will go down. And the WASD keys are your movement keys. So in order to pause your video, just press P, pause your video. Now to go back into mouse mode, press T. You show up your mouse. You can move around and click any button. So what I like to usually do at the beginning of any replay video is I go to zero, zero of my video, press T. I add a time keyframe and I go to the very end of my video. So at 33 seconds, I press V. It's gonna sync up my video and then add a time keyframe so that my video is one-to-one -one with my movement of my camera. Okay. So now I'm gonna start and set some camera pass. So at zero, zero, I'd like my camera to be here. Now let's say I want to move my camera over here within 10 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is select at 10 seconds, add another position keyframe. Let's say I wanna move my camera again. This time I want it above here, overseeing the village. What I'm going to do is in the next five seconds, so at 15, I'm going to add another position keyframe. Now, once you're done your replay and your camera path, you can render your camera path. So under rendering method, you want to be rendering under equal rectangular rendering. I like to keep my encoding presets as high quality. Now you do have two choices in video resolution. You can either have it at 2880, by 1440, so 2880 by 1440, or you can have it at 1920 by 960. Keep in mind the higher resolution will take up more space in your replay video. Okay, keep your video bitrate at 60, your output file is here, and then you just simply go to advanced settings, make sure to stabilize your yaw, pitch, and roll, and then press render. Now, if you experience an error such as this, so do not panic if you get this rendering failed. Just simply press cancel, go back to render camera path, go to advanced settings, click command line settings. You're gonna notice this, delete FFMPEG from the left-hand side. Now go back to the folder where you installed FFMPG and then double click the folder, go to bin, and then find your ffmpg.exe file. So I'm gonna copy this file path, and then add in, in addition to ffmpeg.exe. Copy and paste this entire file path. I'm gonna paste it right over here. Now just simply press render. So you're gonna notice that it's starting to render the video. Now you can also press show preview to show what you're rendering, but keep in mind that it will slow down your computer and it's rendering time. So I usually like to just turn off the preview. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward and show you what it looks like once it's fully rendered. Okay. So once the file has been rendered, all you need to do now is go to your open video folder. You're gonna get multiple rendered videos. So go to the one that you just created. In this case, it was this one. So you're gonna notice that the video is in a kind of weird groovy shape and that's totally okay for a 360 video. Just keep in mind that this file is not yet ready for upload onto YouTube. There's one last step that you need to do, and that is inject it with a 360 metadata tool. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pause this, 
going to close this file. I'm going to copy and paste the video that we just made onto our desktop. Okay. So now we're going to go and get the metadata tool. So the metadata tool can be found on this website. Once again, all the links are in the description for you to click and follow. So go scroll down and then go to create a 360 enabled file with an app and then download the relevant app that you need. So for me, it's Windows. I'm going to click and download that. Once you have that, you're going to get a zip file. Unzip that zip file and you're going to get a .exe file. I'm going to run this file and you're going to notice you can get a spherical metadata window. So from here, press open and then go to the file that you wish to inject the 360 video. So that is in the desktop. Press open, press spherical, and then press save as. And then you'll notice that it's going to say the name of the video and inject it. And press save. It's going to successfully save the file as injected. Now simply go to YouTube and upload this file. All right. So now that we've successfully uploaded our injected video, I'd normally wait between two to three minutes after successfully uploading. Otherwise, you might still see that gravity effect since the 360 has not taken into effect. Give it two to three minutes to resolve itself and you should result in a video such as this. So now let's take a look. So you'll notice that you're able to drag left and right, up and down in your video. And you can also use your WASD keys to look around. Now if you're on your mobile phone, Vive or Oculus Rift, you can simply just intuitively look around your video. Now that concludes our video tutorial for creating 360 videos. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more VR content. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.